everybody, and welcome to my 232nd official Let's Play, which is Legend of Zelda Realm of Courage for Zelda Classic. This quest is brought to us by Nacy586 over on the Pure ZC forums. It has some interesting puzzles, dungeon layouts, among other elements, in addition to using the BS tile set. So if you're sick of Classic, you guys will enjoy this one. With that being said, on with the show! And guess what's in this cave? It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Same old man, same dialogue, same old wooden sword. And I guess we'll make a beeline directly to level 1 now. After killing some Octorakis and scrounging up a couple rubies. Rupees, rupees, whatever. It's currency! Oh yeah. Rack it up that dough. Yeah, I gotta save up like 130 for a magic shield. Okay, I believe there's something interesting to the south. Let me clear out the moblins first. Nah, I'll leave them alone for now. Yeah, heart piece! Wanted to come down here and grab it. Yeah, there's plenty of heart pieces to find in this quest. I don't know if I'm gonna get every heart container, but I'll try. Alright, how much further to the east do we gotta go here? Alright, I think we gotta go down now. Yep, gotta loop around this forest here and go due west. And there's the Triforce Exignia in the ground, indicating we're close to a dungeon. I remember a couple other quests doing this too. Level 1 Alpha, alrighty. Which way do we go first? Ah, let's go right. Kill some keys. And yay with the Castlevania music! It seems a lot of Zelda Classic quests tend to use this particular tune. Well, it is damn good, so... Nacy has great taste in music. What can I say? So, just got some more Stealthos to clear out here, and... Got a little water bridge. Whole lot of keys so far. I think there's also a key in this room, if I remember. After we massacre all the keys and stuff, Oh, watch out. Yep, another key. And it's going to get crazy with keys later on. And we got Gorillas, red ones. Yeah, you usually see them in level ones. Oh god, I gotta use the half pile. Stay out of range of that boomerang. Does a heart of damage if you get pelted by it. Alright, before we go through the locked door, I want to go up first. Secret power is said to be in the arrow. I'll keep that in mind. Continue! Alright, I got four stealth hoses. I'm hoping after level 2 I might be able to pick up the magic shield. Depends if I rack up enough cash. And yay, another key. And I may get to level 2 in this part, I don't know. Because all the dungeons are kind of big in this game. Yeah, more keys and selfos, and we get the map for wiping them out. And it looks like it's in the shape of a goldfish. Mmm, goldfish crackers. And we got wall masters, ah! Uh, that's why you want to take your time going through this block maze here. Since you're going to be riding up against the wall. Makes you easy prey for those creepy hands. And down we go. Oh god. Yeah, this room can be quite tricky. Yeah, using the half-tile trick isn't as effective in this room because the blocks are uh, all up in your grill. But you can stay far away and just stay half-tile. And if you have sword beams, it will be a lot easier. Yay! Wooden boomerang. And what's in this passage? A passageway! I was hoping it'd be another dungeon item, but... Alas, it is not. Alright, so we got keys. And we got a crystal! What do we do to, for this, to send crystal? Boomerang it! And you create a path back to the entrance. But we don't want to go that way, we want to go through this locked door. And hey, we got arrows here! I wonder if we're also going to get the bow here, too. 
through time, we'll find out. More keys, more Stelfos. More sword beaming up to the face. Yay, key. And now we gotta push this block to get to the arrows. Or not, actually, wait a minute. Boomerang the crystal and it creates a pathway, I forgot. The block is your way out. Yay, yeah, got the arrows. And now we use the block to get out. Already rue. Now we got more Stealthos and Geese, and I got hit by one. A cursed thing. Hopefully I get a heart back soon. And another key. Woot Zors. Grab the shiny thing. Jam it into the lock. And more of the same. More boneheads and more flappy bats. <laughs> Boomerang the crystal. Grab key. Continue. And okay, we only got Stealthos in here. Three of them. Alright, used up all the keys and now we're at a passage. Watch out for the traps though. Now we enter the passageway, and where does it take us? Maybe to the bow. Maybe to the boss. Or maybe both. Kill the keys, see if they drop. No, nothing. I was hoping for free money, but they didn't get that. And there's the bow. We have to go around to grab it. Now it looks like we gotta activate another crystal to form a pathway. Clearly pushing the block is our way out. Crystal is the way in. Whee! Grab a key. And now let's go grab that bow. Starting to wonder if Goma might be the boss here. If we're getting the bow and arrow this early. It's always a possibility. And now through the locked door. Oh, we got another wallmaster room. Yeah, whenever you're riding along against the walls, you know you're getting them. And the stopwatch doesn't run out in this room, oh well. well the, unlike the other quests I did, the stopwatch will stay with you until you leave the room. Which case could be beneficial for uh, Wizrobe rooms later that I don't want to put up with. Let's keep these Gorillas stunned. A stunned Gorilla is not a threat. Alright, I picked up something, but we'll go down here in the meantime. Alright, so it looks like we get a heart piece here. Unfortunately, we don't have the proper item to get to it at the moment, so we'll have to come back later. In the meantime, let's continue left. Kill the keys. And you, as you can, I'm sure you can tell there's a statue head all the way across the water, and to reach it, you need an arrow. And you create a path with it. Now we continue up. Now we deal with mo more boneheads. Alright, for stammering and fumbling over my sentences. Blah. And through this locked door. Yeah, I think I'll be able to fit level 2 into this video. Should be able to. Kill the Keys and the Gorillas and the Stealthus. Nice mix of enemies in here. And they leave nothing. Alright, I want to take the top path first, because I think we grab a key up here. And the bottom path leads us to the boss. Yeah, watch out, I got a statue shooter room. Just run across the water bridge quick. Okay, it looks like we're not fighting a Goma. And it doesn't look like we're going to be fighting a Gliok either, because we're entering from the south. So it's probably going to be Aquamentus. Aquamedis is usually the level 1 boss anyway, so that's not a surprise. Yeah, run across this bridge now, and here we go. Let's finish this dungeon. Now let's use the arrows, because they're more effective in this fight. Yeah, dodge bolt beams. Oh. Yeah, whatever, I can take the damage, only half heart. And yay, fourth heart container. And now we get the Triforce. Yay, level 1 alpha complete. And now we gotta start our search for level 2. We're 
we're still far from having enough cash to get the mirror sh uh, not the mirror shield, the magic shield left. I don't even know if we get the mirror shield in this game, I forgot. If we do, it's probably not going to be for a long while. I wonder if those rocks might be hiding, uh, that little boulder's hiding anything. I'm going to try bombing it or pushing it. You usually have to do one or the other to it. So, who's living in this cave? Money-making game? No thank you. Already Roo. Yeah, I wouldn't even bother going to farther to the east, because I believe you need the ladder. And I think you need the hookshot for one screen, too. So, not even worth going that way. Can't do anything. And this tree up here looks a little inconspicuous, but I can't do anything about it until I get a candle. Could be a secret to everybody, could be a door repair charge, or it might be nothing. Alright, so where's the shop? Is there a shop around here anywhere? Yeah, I grabbed those blue rubies. They're a rarity. Oops, I don't want to go that way yet. I think I want to go up here first. Yeah, there's a cave over here I want to check out. I forgot if there was anything important. Buy something, will ya? 50, bo uh, 50 rubies for bombs, no thanks. I'll wait till the bombs get dropped by an enemy. I'd rather get them for free. Not gonna waste 50 on bombs, that's kinda ridiculous. Even 20 is a bit much for them. Well, if I can find some blue Octoroks and more Moblins, I can probably get some bombs. I don't think the red Octoroks drop any. Got a raft path there, can't do anything about it right now. Alright, back on the starting screen, see you later. Oh yeah! Farming up that money! Now let's go over another screen here. Hey, we got a cave, let's check it out. Alright, who lives in here? Buy something, will ya? Hey, magic shield, I want that. 130, though. So, I guess we'll have to do level 2 without a magic shield, but that's okay. There's not a whole lot of statue shooters in there, and I can dodge them pretty well. Want to make sure I have that shield before level 3, though, if I can. I gotta fire off an arrow to hit that big troll statue over there. That's the only way to get over this bridge. In this region, we'll find level 2. So let's fill up the map a little bit here before we go into the dungeon. Oh, hookshot spot. Can't do anything about it now. And we got another ref path. And we loop de loop around these trees, and yep, Triforce Insignia, indicating we're close to level 2. And here it is. Let's knock out another dungeon, why not? Level 2 Beta. Let's check out this room. Alright, can't go across the water. Let's go north. Oh, we got a raft path inside the dungeon. Whole lot of water. And we got blue bushes. Can't do anything about them right now. So I guess going down this path would be the way to go. Stalfos and Keese. More of the same enemy configuration. And now we got all three. We got the Keese, Gorillas, and the Stalfos. I think we get the compass here, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Platform forms and gives you it. Alright, be careful. Statue shooters in here, and you got wall masters. So just keep on the move so the statue beams can't hit you. Or if you get lucky with the stopwatch, then you're fine too. Alright, and we get a key. Didn't think we'd get one in this type of room. And we got some very quirky music for this dungeon. It sounds like it might be a Banjo Kazooie tune, I don't know. Could be wrong. 
Alright, I think we used an arrow on one of the statues, but we'll come back in a bit. We gotta go up through the locked door first. We gotta do something in this next room. Yeah, we got gels, stealthos, and keys. After you kill them all, something cool will happen. Yep, if I can hit this thing, there we go. Yeah, you get a little maze path that leads you towards the staircase. And straight to another key. Yeah, this dungeon's got a quite a few keys, too. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop mocking the music. And continue. Through the locked door. Yeah, more keys, gels, and stealthos. Alright, I'm not gonna use any more cash. I wanna save it. Alright, got the key. Now we gotta hit that. And grab it. And now we exit out this way. And grab the map. And now we gotta backtrack a little bit. So yeah, level 2, quite large. Giant ass B map. But it's okay, I know my way around, so... Shouldn't take very long because of that. Arrow the statue and continue down here. And wait for the keys to come around. Haha, <laughs> clip them. And more gels. Die. You fiend. Through the locked door. And more stealth hosting keys. Three of each. Die, you. Alright, since we don't have the raft, down the staircase. Yeah, we find the raft in another portion of the dungeon. Alright, I got some gels and keys, and a raft path, which we'll deal with later. And now we got gorillas and keys. And another raft path, oh god. Yeah, keep those gorillas isolated. After killing all the enemies, a staircase will appear, which will take us to the raft. Awesome. And now we can check out what's over on all those raft paths. Hope there's not a hole in it. We here we go. Oh. All right, let's go check out what's over on this raft path. And if you want to speed things up, you could just F1, but I don't want to do it for fear I'll run into enemies. I don't want to take any unnecessary damage because of that. <laughs> ah, come on. Get into my line of fire. There we go. Alright, killing the keys give me nothing, so let's go back. Whee! Okay, there we go. Slow it down before I get to the rough path. Alright, I gotta do a little bit of backtracking. Alright, now we return to this room and go across the water. And grab the key, and now we gotta go back to the other side now. Whee! And just speed down the staircase. <laughs> just to speed up the process some. Okay. Just wanna make sure there's no enemies over there. And through the locked door. Do, 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 do. Now we go to the left. Alright, watch it. I got a, a lone statue shooter with gels and keys to deal with. And push the block and you'll form another uh, maze path here that'll lead you to the key. Watch out for the statue beam, though. If you keep on the move, you can dodge it. Just go to blast out and then move. Like I'm doing. Alright, now we go through the locked door. Yeah, the boom, regular boomerang doesn't work on that crystal. You need another item. And we got that lone key over the water, but we'll grab it later. Right now, let's just destroy more keys and stealthos as we work our way across this labyrinth. Stun, stun. Pour all these enemies together. Hey, yeah, back to full health. Alright, another key. Let's go grab it. And down we go. Do, 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 
Alright, now how do we get to the... Actually, I think we gotta push these two blocks. Yeah, you have to kill all the keys to get the blocks to move. Oh, actually, I think I forgot something. Let's go back. Yes, because now that I have a key, I could go back to that other locked door. Yeah, this one here. Swim on over and kill that Stealthos that's greeting us. And now we come in here. More Stealthos to contend with, and keys. Yeah, the enemy variety doesn't pick up till the next level. It's pretty much more of the same from level 1. And more statue shooters in the mix, too. And more mazy like paths. Ooh. Doing a good job dodging the beams here. Alright, killed all the wall masters, now let's continue. And I got a stopwatch. Haha, you can't hurt me! <laughs> I absorb your beams. Like a human sponge. Hey, Blue Candle, let's go grab E. So, Blue Candle relegated to a dungeon item in this quest, huh? Not too shabby, I guess. Gives it some fair use. In some quests, you can just skip right over it and just get the Red Candle. Although, the, those quests are few and far between. We can just run through this room real quick. Save a couple seconds. And we get over there. <laughs> Some of those raft paths take forever. Ooh, bombs! Yay! Been wanting those. Alright, max out on bombs. Yeah, Gorillas are another pretty decent enemy that give bomb drops. Okay, now let's go back to the south. Because there's another key item we need to pick up. Now that we have the blue candle, we can get to it. Blue candle get, burns away those blue bushes. Now we come over here and... I guess so, wait, let's go to the north first. I think there's something we gotta grab up here. Yep, key stuffles and gels, more of the same. Unlock the shutter. Oh, wait, I know where this leads. I need the, um, magic boomerang. Yep, we're getting that here. Since the crystals are a little more advanced in the deeper parts of the dungeon. Need a stronger boomerang now. Yeah, go off this wrath path, but we gotta get that key. And you got some nice arrow blocks that tell you which ways you can go. Now let's go down after grabbing the key. Yeah, we gotta go to the far south now to get that magic boomerang. And you go to the left as soon as you hit this point. Now we go down, go left again, and then down. Yep, and this is the dock you want to hit. Burn the blue bushes here, and we killed the keys in the process. Lol. Through the locked door, and down here we're going to get the magic boomerang. Going to wipe out all the keys, Stelfos, and Gorillas first. Come here. Alright, level 2 boomerang. Now we need this to trigger the uh, crystal over here. This will take us back to the starting point of the dungeon. To which now we can go up and now we can activate the raft path up here. So we all come full circle, literally. Whee! Right off of here now. And there's one more key we gotta find. Now we gotta backtrack a little. I know exactly where to get it. And now we can go straight to the boss room. Okay, I gotta go this way now. Yeah, we gotta come back to this point. Because if you remember that lone key over the water, we gotta grab that. That's gonna be the key we need to get to the boss. And once we clear out level 2, we're gonna call it an LP part. Got two massive dungeons done in one video, that's pretty good. 
Yeah, we're gonna need the magic boomerang to get this crystal. And now we grab our final key, and now let's head off to the boss. Wee, wee, get over here. <laughs> All right, I don't want to use the F1 because I'll end up speeding past a certain rat path. Okay, maybe not on this screen. Just speed it up a little here. Now to get to the boss, just follow where I'm going. Go up from here. Yep, pretty much there. Just make sure you have that final key and you'll be all set. Now we gotta hit the crystal with the magic boomerang and now we advance through to the boss door. And we got a crap ton of moldorms for a boss. Not all that bad, really. The worms have turned. Yes, I'm aware this is not Tremors 2. They're not spitting out those tentacles all over the place. Them graboids. I'd love to see a graboid made in Zelda Classic. I think only Moosh would be capable of creating that, though. And yeah, we got a Harkitator for mauling the Moldorms. And hooray, Triforce Piece, level 2, beta complete. And that will do it for part 1. Alrighty, Rue folks, gonna cut it off here, so stay tuned for Let's Play Legend of Zelda. The Realm of Courage for Zelda Classic Part 2. When we'll try to grab the magic shield, I'm only a few rubies away from it, so we'll grab that, and then we'll head straight to level 3 and knock that dungeon out. Anyways, see you then, peoples!